Hi Tauruses, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your mid-April to end of May fork in the road message. Uh, this message is coming in for I feel all signs. Uh, this year is a number two year so we are going to be going through the process of either letting go of a path or just stepping into a new path but coming together with someone or something else by the end of this number two year. All right, so the card I'm pulling for you right now is from the uh, the Hisdom. The Wisdom of Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed and we're going to refer to this one at the end of the reading. The Prison Waif. Self-sabotage. Poverty Consciousness. Feeling like you don't have enough. But the card is number 31. So 3 plus 1 is 4. That represents a stable foundation home, business, however the situation may apply. Now I was shuffling the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burstyn and I was going to continue to shuffle as we started the video but I was stopped very quickly uh, to recognize that on the bottom of the deck I had the King of Coins. So this is representing you guys, whoever's energies this is because this is a general reading I can only pull in so many this is you guys contemplating maybe some sort of change. Uh, your heart has been really devoted to a situation, circumstance, or person. And in the first couple weeks from watching this video, you are going to receive a message. Or someone's going to come to you quickly who may not be completely honest. And the message may have to do with change. Changes that need to be made at home, changes maybe that need to be made when it comes to business. But at some point in the next three weeks or so, some of you, not all of you, are going to get really excited because you're going to know exactly what it is you're wishing for and you're going to find yourself stepping into a bigger position, financial pay, a bigger home, a bigger business building for your business. In your thoughts position, some of you, not all of you, have the temperance energies, which is a major arcana. This is Spirit's way of guiding you to heal, to find and set new goals for yourself, and to step in new directions. In your relationship sector, some of you, not all of you, have been thinking of your childhood or someone you knew from your childhood. Maybe just thinking about someone that you have known for a very long time. In your creative aspects position of the circle spread, we've got the Knight of Coins. Now, in most decks, this knight moves slowly. But in this deck, this is you guys moving quickly. As soon as you come to the realization of a new path, a new direction, a new idea, you guys are on it like Donkey Kong. All right? In your actions position, taking action to fill this cup by connecting with spirit and asking that spirit overflow this cup with abundance and love and prosperity and happiness and joy. Bigger and better things, maybe circumstances and or people. And this path is being offered to you from the universe. So some of you emotionally are contemplating a new path ahead, but you maybe still can't be sure of what is on offer in that path for some reason. I think some of you also are healing from the past. You're thinking of someone from your past. You're moving quickly to go and see, is this the one for me? And emotionally, you're taking the time to figure out this decision. Some of you, not all of you, subconsciously are eager to leave troubled waters behind that may involve someone you've known for a long time, your children, or someone from your past. So at some point, you guys have, some of you, not all of you, been contemplating change and where it is you want to give your heart. Are you doing things for the right reason? Is the other person doing things for the right reason, Tauruses? What changes need to be made in order for you to make a wish come true when it comes to happiness and fulfillment and prosperity, contentment, joy? In your practical day-to-day -day matters position, it's about figuring out what this new path is about. Spirit is offering you the Ace of Wands to tell you that this is a very exciting new direction 
that you can create with their assistance if you take steps quickly to fill this cup with kindness and love to a situation, to a circumstance, person, place, etc. In your inner strengths position, you are finding the path by which you will uh, uh, celebrate financial abundance and prosperity. Wow. All kinds of great things opening up here for Tauruses. In the first week and a half to two weeks from watching the video, you have the Fool card energy. So this represents all of us in our journey, starting out like a kid, excited about a new direction, but also recognizing that we just stepped through the world card. So we just came out of an experience and we need to recognize what that experience was meant to teach us as we are healing and stepping into this new direction. You guys may be waiting to hear about a financial opportunity and or to hear from a child or about a child who has earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Maybe some of you are thinking of your childhood. And you are also thinking of the King of Cups. This is someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, because this is general, but this is a person who is older. This is a person who is well off financially, but most importantly, they know a lot. They follow their intuition to help, care, and give. And if some of you are thinking about someone who had water in their chart that was important to you, could even be a father figure, know that spirit is telling you that they're helping for you to put closure to this path. So for some of you, not all of you, have faith that the difficulties are over because Spirit's guiding you towards the light. Have faith that you can now take this difficult experience here and let those torches fall away so you can stand up and get excited about something new. It's time to set goals and let go of regrets. It's time to get clear, organized, logical, disciplined, and focused as to what it is you want to manifest in your life next. So the Emperor Energies is a major arcana. Spirit's going to help you to get clear about your future. So in the next two, three weeks, some of you, not all of you, are going to feel great love, caring, loving, giving energies. Maybe in connection to someone from your past, and you're wanting to go and experience those energies. But with the Five of Swords, you guys are kind of up in your head for a reason. You haven't completely let go of an old path. Let those swords dissipate. That path is over with a 10. You're already running into a new beginning. So don't be afraid to offer your heart. Be fun, be playful, and recognize what is it that you want to offer, Tauruses? Because with the chariot energies, this is like, this is when the fool decides, okay, now I know as I'm connecting to other people that I want to get out and I want to do more and I want to advance and I want to communicate and I want to just go, go, go. And when an offer comes in, there's just some sort of confusion. Like, I've been down this road, I've done this, I've experienced this. Now what is the right choice for me? Know that spirit is going to help you and be in your favor with the judgment energies. They are going to help you to make the right decisions because there's some decision here in your emotions, remember, in the next four weeks or so that may feel difficult. Some of you may have connected with a Virgo energy or someone who has that in their chart and you're feeling stuck somehow in your bubble. But recognize this is a bubble that you manifested and that if you imagine yourself letting go from being stuck here, all of those swords and everything will fall away. In the next four weeks or so, the wheel of fortune starts turning in your favor. I think because you guys chose a direction and you started putting energy into that direction. And as you're walking towards the back door, people maybe don't like that you're choosing this alternate direction. But this direction has to do with your truth. 
what is true for you. This new path may be difficult, but it will help for you to cut away from old energies that no longer serve you. So here's this ending, which actually, as the sun starts to shine on this path that's beginning, you're recognizing that you've come a long way and that the, the house that you were working on actually is a tower of gold. You work to get where you are and you may not see that you're manifesting a beautiful new beginning that offers much success. Yeah, you guys can find yourself moving into a bigger, better, more prosperous situation, building, environment, whatever it is. Spirit is trying to tell you to just keep your nose to the grindstone, I just heard. All right, so I'm going to clarify these energies by bringing in the Wisdom of the uh, Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed Tauruses, please. From now, mid-April to mid-May. Fork in the road energies. So use your imagination right now, Tauruses. Imagine what it is that will bring you happiness, passion, excitement for the future. Focus on that for the next week. Know that spirit is helping for you to heal. So you can set new exciting goals for yourself. So you can step into new directions. Pray to spirit for what it is you're passionate about. And start taking those steps. In your relationship sector, some of you, not all of you, are connecting to someone from your past. Someone that you've been friends with for a long time. Someone that you've known for a long time. Maybe even a family member. And spirits say now is the time in your relationship sector to work on mending. Mending a communication, praying to your higher spirit, moving forward quickly towards what fulfills you. Why? Because there is a situation or circumstance by which you needed to leave behind because the story kept going on and on and on. Nothing was changing and nothing was fulfilling. So in your actions position, Take action to pray to spirit for a new beginning in financial abundance, happiness, joy, love, good health. Through your actions, you will be able to give birth to the energies of a brand new life. So imagine what the life ahead is going to look like for you and take the steps. Because emotionally, here you are trying to make the right choice, trying to choose the right direction and when it comes with the flexibility energies that spirit's way of saying you know know that at some point you can sit down right here and you can create a painting or you can uh, take some photography or you can you know create a project until you have clarity so what is it you're imagining in your path ahead subconsciously some of you not all of you are leaving troubled waters behind and as you are doing so, Spirit is offering you this treasure. It's coming your way because you're mending, because you're imagining a different life for yourself. And in your mental aspects position, here's that new exciting path and the practical day-to-day -day matters as well. You are taking steps to follow what it is you are imagining and you are doing them one step at a time. Do things by the book. If you're starting a business, do things by the book. If someone comes into your path quickly, take your time. Pray to spirit and make sure you have mended with others from the past your energies because this is your gift that's coming in in your inner strengths you guys are going to be able to handle this new beginning you're going to feel very happy and fulfilled with this new beginning uh, uh, you'll be climbing into a higher financial position with this new beginning and spirit is saying take some time to think about how you're going to grow do we need a bigger do we need a different client do we need more clients? Do we need a bigger house? Do we need a bigger business? In a three card summary to my left, 
with the same wisdom of the Oracle deck, Spirit's saying. In the first couple weeks, Spirit is asking that you imagine and take steps in a direction by which, well, actually not so much take steps in the first week or two. Pray to Spirit about, and maybe even draw pictures, write down numbers of what it is you want to achieve. And then pray to Spirit. The higher power is here to give you synchronicity. Little messages, images, signs that's going to provide you with a deep knowing. So Spirit's saying all you have to do is observe what is transpiring in the first couple weeks and breathe. Whatever's coming in is blessed for you. Again, there's a message. It may come in quickly. A person may come in quickly. And if there is chaos and conflict tied to that person, know that you and this person came together because there's something you had to learn about who you're going to co-create something with. So a little bit of a warning here as you're creating a new path and you're wanting to hire someone or something. There's going to be a change in the wind. And when it comes to a person, place, circumstance, situation, environment, all that glitters is not gold, right? Wait for the glitter to blow away and take off the mask and look into the eyes of the people who are making an offer to you because you've done the work. You've chopped the wood and now you can sit down and enjoy the beautiful warm uh, fire. It's time to leave something behind in the next two to three weeks. And you guys may be receiving a message that starts out kind of like fun and kind. And that message brings you clarity about something maybe that you guys can manifest at home or a job that's going to help pay for your home. And you're going to find yourself very content in your home. You can take and go and look over the edge of other paths. But again, like a lot of people, this test, this person, this situation, this partnership, this energy here in your path uh, needs to needs to be observed for a period of time before you make any changes so in the next four to six weeks you have the building blocks energies to create an exciting new path ahead and you have the building blocks to manifest financial abundance so your guys is uh, your fork in the road may not show up until the third or fourth week from now. And Spirit's saying they were trying to help you to recognize patterns and or cycles when it comes to who you connect with. Know your tribe. Recognize who should be a part of your path and who should not. I'm bringing in uh, spiritual guidance with the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron reed Clarification, please, for Tauruses. Ah, some of you may be imagining about a higher position. Maybe you're thinking about an older person that is financially abundant and secure. Maybe you're imagining that you could be with this person who has earth in their chart just like you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, because this is general. But this person or you, one of you, has deceptive energies here. Somebody wants to make a change when it comes to their heart and spirit saying pray to spirit for clarity wait and heal and as you're healing what are you healing from somebody's healing from a connection to an earth sign Virgo Taurus Capricorn Sun Moon or Rising maybe a little bit younger than you and you've been in denial and Spirit's saying you'll heal as you come out of that denial. So in your relationship sector, Tauruses, we have the Six of Cups and mending. Mending a connection with a child, mending a connection with people from your past. Spirit's saying remain poised in your relationship sector, even if and when you recognize that someone is not being honest with you. Remain poised and focus creatively on a new path ahead while you're listening to this never-ending story with someone. Because when you recognize a pattern, that's going to bring you the spiritual acknowledgement that you need of what it is, was that maybe you were not seeing. Whoever this is, 
Now in your actions position, we have this Ace of Cups, new beginning, new life. I feel like this is a prosperous new beginning. And it's in that path that Spirit's offering the High Priestess of Earth to help you find financial abundance and security in your emotions. Be flexible. Take your time. Wait for clarity. Because in the next four weeks, some of you, not all of you, will be able to let go. You're going to see what you needed to see. And you're going to start anew. That could be as soon as the next four weeks for some of you, not all of you. Now, in your subconscious, we've got you guys leaving troubled waters behind in order to receive a gift that is being brought to you in your path. As long as you maintain with the warrior energies around you and within you, Spirit's going to bring you the clarity you need when it comes to a deceptive situation. Tied to your past tied to a child or children. In your mental aspects position, get excited about a new direction and do things by the book. Whoever this is, it is not a time to take a risk. Especially if someone in the process gets hurt. That's even in the next six weeks. Focus on your thoughts and how you can work on financial abundance and security. Buster, stop. And I think once you recognize this new direction, you're going to be happy to bring things to a conclusion with someone who has deceptive energies. This new path is going to bring you financial abundance, greater things in life, bigger homes, bigger business, bigger money. It's just going to put you in a position of great comfort and as you put your energy in and avoid devil energies of those around you, this new path is going to bring you great success. Step into that new beginning with great pride. All right. And the card we pulled earlier from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realm deck by Colette Baron reed You guys receive the prison waif. And I'm going to close by reading from the book to give clarity to the author or <laughs> credit to the author. When Buster, no, when the prison waif arrives in his realm as your ally, he comes to remind you of the law of paradoxical intent. Your own self sabotaging thoughts and hidden beliefs are, in fact, preventing you from your highest good at this time. You might believe that you're doing all you can to manifest your reality, but perhaps you're giving in to thoughts such as the following. Buster. I can't do this. I'm unworthy. I'll fail, so why try? I don't deserve this. I'm unlovable. Buster. Hey. Shh. No. Are you a prisoner of worry, distrust, cynicism, and fear? Do you constantly tell yourself that there's not going to be enough? Or do you see only lack and poverty everywhere you look? Perhaps your expectations of negative results and, per and repercussions serve to keep you imprisoned by your own thoughts. So maybe you're deceiving yourself that you cannot mend from the situation. Do you feel that you're not allowed success in life when the prison wave comes as your challenger he warns you that you're now seeing in your life the results of those negative thoughts and expectations if you don't like what you see it's time to transform the way you see it if you aren't happy with your life change your thoughts that alone has the power to change your life difficulties are learning curves right now just remember that this prison won't hold you for long Take the time to learn about mistakes, the lessons ensure later, and the greater success that comes from this process. So you guys are learning about yourself by communicating with someone else who is just not honest. Either that or you're not being honest with yourself that now is a time to follow your heart when it comes to 
whatever your circumstances are, to ch make the changes to move ahead into a bigger home, into a bigger business, into more. But someone le needs to either be left behind, who may have earth in their chart like yourself, or a situation needs to be brought to a conclusion so you can start a new path because someone's not being honest. It could be a boss, could be someone not telling you the truth about the financial capabilities of the business. So it's time to take things into your own hands and to bring things to a conclusion so you can step into a path of abundance, prosperity, happiness, joy, and lots and lots of passion. Thank you again for stopping by. If you'd like me to pull your personal energies, I'm available at my email and the price are listed below. My email is josiek42 at gmail.com. Take care and God bless.